Before I get started with the update, I want to go over some media that was sent to me by some viewers. The first is a video of Remington, Indiana, provided to me by Steve at Plug and Play EV during his very long cross-country road trip, which he's creating content for. I recommend going over to his channel and taking a look. Really good content. We have the construction trailer for Owl spotted on the site. Construction hasn't really progressed much, but we do see Owl, and you see foundations there for the uh, pipe work, and dirt has been turned. The construction netting is up and in place. We have uh, both the forklift that's commonly used to put up a canopy, so conceivably they're doing a canopy, earth movers, um, a facade of the facility, which has Taco Bell subway, and it looks like it's got a New Horizons refurbishment. It looks pretty nice. The other one is from Springfield, Arkansas, near Bentonville, Arkansas. And this one just opened. We have a um, uh, several photographs, no video, of a new uh, Chevrolet Blazer EV owner who was charging here. And his YouTube handle will be in the update uh, coming in just a moment. But uh, this opened, he was very excited and brought his brand new Chevrolet Blazer EV over to get a charge at the GM, GM charging station. It's pretty exciting times. There's a little bit close up. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the update. Mentioning again the overview of what this new network is going to offer. And the one thing I'm really focused on here is the discounted charging rates and the reservations for GM. We've been promised that, but we've heard absolutely nothing about it. Uh, GM has been very tight-lipped as of late, which is not uncommon for them at all. But that is one thing that is um, of note uh, that will be coming in the not-too-distant future, basically putting this network on parity with the Tesla supercharger as far as member pricing for Tesla owners and pricing for non-Tesla owners. Very similar concept here. This is the map, and I'm going to go into Interstate 40, which is now at a tie for the location for the interstate with the most locations on it. My wife and I are hoping to make a cross-country trip on Interstate 40 from Wilmington, North Carolina, to Los Angeles, California, come December of this year, assuming we're able to with the stations. And right now, it looks like we're going to be able to. I don't really see any gaps, and I'll show that in just a second. These are the new opened locations this week. We've got Toledo, Ohio. We've got one in Pennsylvania. I forgot the name of it. Um, we'll get to it here in just a second. Um, we have Beaver Dam, Ohio, just opened today. And as I mentioned, uh, Springdale, Arkansas, just opened. We have 18 weeks left in the year, 140 left to open. Not going to happen. Eight per week would have to happen in order for them to reach that goal. I think a reasonable goal would be for them to finish 100 by December 31st, which means they would have 40 left to do. I think that's a reasonable number. They could very easily do that, in my opinion. Not, not easily. It's not easy for, you know, it's easy for me to say that, but this is real work that they're doing out there, working with utilities and construction companies and weather and all kinds of variables. So definitely kudos to the folks at Pilot Flying J. I consider them to be heroes of the EV community, and all the effort they're putting in is greatly appreciated. These are new locations spotted under construction. Laredo, Texas, way down here in the bottom part of Texas near Mexico. Roberts, Wisconsin, on the other end of the spectrum. I think this will be the most northern location once it opens. Uh, Priceville, Alabama which is up here in northern Alabama. Brookville, Pennsylvania, which is over here. This was a sleeper site for me, but someone um, popped in on PlugShare about that. Carlisle, Pennsylvania, uh, which I think is over here. I actually need to move the arrow a little bit, so there's another one there. And then West Memphis, Arkansas. Now, let me point out what I'm talking about with Interstate 40. If we go back to the previous map, Interstate 40 is this yellow line right here going through Memphis, and then it goes up through Tennessee, then through North Carolina down here. That's 40. And if you look, there's one open here in Jackson. There's one over here in Knoxville. Uh, this one in Arkansas is pretty close to 40. It's a very short dog leg. And then we've got Sire, Oklahoma, Amarillo, Texas, and... Uh, Winslow, Arizona are the ones that are currently open. But if we look at the ones that are spotted under construction, 
There's multiple other ones. These uh, four in Oklahoma are basically all on 40. This one here in Edward, Oklahoma is a little bit north of 40, but this one down here in Oklahoma City sits on Interstate 40. And then we have uh, West Albuquerque and another one in, uh, I think it's Bellet, um, Arizona, or Belmont, Arizona. Uh, so West Memphis, Arkansas fills in a gap. And over here in North Carolina, this one is also on 40. So all those combined with what currently exists, I think there's really no stopping my wife and I from being able to get all the way to Los Angeles. Once we get to this one here, it's about 400 miles to Los Angeles. So we'll likely have to stop at an EVgo station unless some miracle happens and a sleeper site opens around Los Angeles. Uh, but we are intending to make that trip, um, make some video content. We're going to stop at the uh, Grand Canyon National Park stay there one night and it will be our 25th wedding anniversary during that time so it should be a special moment for us uh, to uh, be able to take a cross-country road trip in our new cadillac so that should be fun new this update these are the locations the ones that are open are the first four with the check mark in the open category and the canopy uh, category is about evenly split as you see the Alan Yates one in uh, Priceville, Alabama is a new spot at under construction. L West 48 is the uh, YouTuber who found the Springdale, Arkansas and took the pictures provided them to us. Beaver Dam just opened today. Uh, Toledo is weird. It's, the reason it's weird is because uh, there's a pilot site just to the north that fell off the map. And the reason it fell off, I guess the chargers are under maintenance, so it fell off the pilot map. And I, I didn't realize that Toledo had opened up right around that same time. Um, so when I was doing my scans, I just saw the same pin drop, and I thought it was uh, the the same one that was. But one actually came off, and one went on. So I'm not quite sure how long it's been since Toledo has been open, but it is open. Laredo, Texas, way down in there in the southern portion of Texas. And... Uh, the two in Pennsylvania. The pricing is basically unchanged, which is a little bit of a miracle. Um, because of the opening, there is a little bit of a fluctuation. But if you look, we're hovering right in the 59 cent range for the average price for the entire network, which is definitely an improvement. And over the last three times I've tracked this, there's been very little adjustment. So it seems to be definitely normalizing right around 60 cents. We're at 60 sites open. We've got 54 spotted under construction. Ohio still reigns supreme with 18. Texas slowly starting to creep up. The big news here is that 75 and 40 are now tied with 12 sites each. So you can basically very soon go from Saginaw, Michigan, all the way south into the state of Florida using just these stations. And then you can go from Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way to Los Angeles, California, using just these stations. So that's pretty significant in my opinion. And I've been noticing as I look at these maps, there's a pretty good proliferation of these stations throughout the uh, southeast and northeast and into the Midwest. And you could pretty much get around using just these stations um, if you want to. And they're at you know convenient locations directly off the interstate. Uh, really nice uh, travel centers in order to stop at. The uh, time zones have uh, not adjusted much. Uh, the East Coast is still at uh, 36 with uh, 25 spotted under construction. Central is at 21 uh, open, 21 spotted under construction. Mountain time zone is one open, seven spotted under construction. The Pacific time zone is two open, one spotted under construction. And again, these are the different uh, form factors that they do at the locations. And these are just the ones with the canopies. They also have form factors for um, stations without canopies. Uh, the distribution is mostly with canopies, though, so you'll mostly see one of these. And I only have seen one of these EX uh, locations in Springfield, Missouri. So that one is, I would have thought, been used more. But apparently the type C here, the square, is the most common and that does seem to be uh, what I'm seeing as well uh, probably with this type A being the next most common so that's the update for this time very exciting times we're seeing a lot of activity in the network and I'm going to roll the slide deck with all the full data tables and all the canopy location uh, images into a uh, slide deck with updated images so stay tuned for that thanks for watching